hi! Today, I'll be sharing my analysis and realizations on Pigafetta's Chronicle. But first, I'll be telling you a little bit about Pigafetta. Isa siyang scholar and explorer from Italy na isa sa mga kasama sa voyage ni Magellan papuntang Pilipinas noong 16th century. Ang chronicle na sinulat niya ay naglalaman ng mga obserbasyon at pangyayaring nangyari sa kanila nang dumating ang mga Espanyol dito sa Pilipinas. Pigafetta's Chronicle is significant as it contains details about the Philippines and its pre-colonial state and shows na ang bansa natin ay mayroon ng functioning society and a vibrant civilization prior to Spanish colonialism. Even though his chronicle may be biased or prejudiced as he was only writing from his perspective as one of the colonizers. Pinakita din sa account ni Pigafetta ang view ng Europeans sa non-Europeans, their territory, and their culture. And it was the first account of any European encounter with the Philippines. The chronicle was written in the age of exploration when Europeans had the tools and methods that enabled them to trade, spread their religion, and to conquer other people's territories. Europeans then held the mentality na dahil superior sila, all else na cultures na hindi tulad ng sa kanila ang tingin nila ay savage and uncivilized or backwards. Nilalaman ng Chronicle ang mga naranasan nila as they first arrived sa Pilipinas and immediately may makikita tayong example kung saan lumabas yung pagkaroon nila ng white savior complex. When pinangalanan nilang archipelago of St. Lazarus ang ilang mga islands near sa isang place where they first found signs of gold. Parang pwedeng isipin maliit na bagay lang but personally, I think it's an extremely significant thing kasi niname nilang mga Espanyol, mga hindi Pilipino, ang isang lugar na nasa Pilipinas and it stuck. What if may name na para sa lugar na yun before yung mga inhabitants na katutubong Pilipino? And for some reason ay hindi lang na record dahil syempre ang nagkikip ng record ay si Pigafetta, isang Espanyol. And it's not just that particular archipelago. But also take for example ang mismong bansa nating Pilipinas, ang name ng galing sa mga Espanyol, Philippines. Ang namesake natin ay literally isang hari ng Espanya, si King Philip II. Another part of the chronicle that struck a chord was when Magellan ordered that a cross be planted sa isang lugar and he explained na the presence of the cross was a sign of the Emperor of Spain and that it would be beneficial for the natives kasi kapag nakita ng mga ibang Espanyol ang cross na yun, they wouldn't cause trouble sa natives living there. And any native held captive would be released kasi nga, the cross meant na may mga Spaniards na nandumaan doon. Reading this part came across as very patronizing and offensive para sa mga katutubong Pilipino because it was their land, our land. And yet, they, the Spaniards, had the audacity to act as if they were the ones na nagmamayari ng land, even holding natives captive, which I think is very ironic since they wanted to spread Christianity, a religion based on love. But the way that they executed its spreading wasn't very loving and in fact oppressive and inhumane, as Pigafetta even confessed that they burned a village down for refusing to follow them. In another instance, a king of Cebu, a Filipino pa ang nag-compromise when Magellan refused to pay tribute to the king because he explained that he was a captain of a king himself. Even then, I believe Magellan and his crew should have been the one showing courtesies inhabitants and ruler of the land and abided by the king of Cebu's rules because they, the Spaniards, were in our territory, not the other way around. Sa simula pa lang ng pagdating ng Spaniards dito, Apparent na yung disrespect and low regard nila for the Filipinos. I think this foreshadowed the kind of government that they were going to administer in our country for the coming 300 years. Pigafetta continued and wrote about the battle on Mactan that included the famous chief Lapu-Lapu at ito rin yung same battle where Magellan died. Even though he died, the expedition went on and Pigafetta survived to write about the continuation of their voyage. I feel proud of Lapu-Lapu and the men that fought with him in this battle, that they stood their ground and won against the Spaniards, even if the victory was a bit short-lived, kasi nga, they came back and colonized us for 333 years. So yeah, 
That was my analysis and personal realizations from reading Pigafetta's Chronicle. I hope this helped you understand and appreciate our country's history as Filipinos more as it did for me. Thank you.